we're gonna give this a go. We have picked up the sander. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. Last time you're gonna see the floor looking this horrendous. Hey Rob. That's horrendous. And we're just gonna have to go over it all again. And now I'm like, I just want this to be over with. I'm so scared. Good morning. We've just emptied all the crap from the side of the room, moved the dresser, so it's blocking the door. And we're gonna go on the hunt now to rent a sander. I had to work this morning, I had two meetings, but it's midday, so we're gonna head out, go grab a sander and tackle this floor. The tricky bit will be the edges. There's like a quite a few little edgy bits, but I reckon if we just get a big sander, do our best, we do have a mouse sander, we do have, we can get like hand sanders and we can just make it the best it can be because it's never gonna be perfect. And I actually don't care about it being perfect. I just care about it not looking how it is currently. So anything is an improvement. This is the floor currently. Obviously we have contributed a little bit with all the paint marks from lots of the work we've done in here, but the main issue is just the amount of scuffing and hopefully we can use a really, really light sand and it will go back to this color underneath the varnish. And then we can put something on top to seal it. Didn't think of that. What? <laughs> you just paint it on with um you can get like a, a broom brush thing yeah um we can go to b and q well, like the yeah it's like a, you, you just like pour it on but it's for the decking but you probably need a different kind of one for wood yeah and then or you paint it on with a paintbrush like you get a big paintbrush mm. we'll give it a go but we're not gonna be too fussy we have picked up the sander in all its glory. Leave a comment below if you watched us the last time we did this in our old house and you witnessed the disaster that ensued. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen here. We're not dealing with for 400 year, 500 year? 400. 400 year floorboards here. We're probably dealing with floorboards, I imagine, that were put in in maybe like the 80s or 90s. I don't know. They didn't look that old. So hopefully it's not gonna be anywhere near as complicated. There's no nails sticking out. It's not like really thin pine or anything. So we're just gonna go for it. And Roxy, you're gonna have to evacuate. She's just polishing it up. <laughs> Should we use you to polish it afterwards? I think you'd be a good polisher. <laughs> oh. Last time you're gonna see the floor looking this horrendous. Hey Rob. Hey Rob. <laughs> we're gonna give this a go. Like it looks absolutely horrendous. I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. This is the worst part. I can't do this part. I genuinely don't understand. How? How did you get this in? This is where we're currently at. I had a bit of a breakdown at first because it wasn't working. And then we persevered and it got a bit better. I am very much realizing, oh, I think the goggles have made my eye, my makeup smear everywhere. I'm definitely realizing that doing this after the cupboards was a really good idea because it would have just meant we would have had so much more floor to sand. I don't know. I'm very glad we did it last. In an ideal world, I think we would have had someone come in and do the floors professionally before everything was painted and the painting would have been the last job, but I wanna just share when it comes to renovations how things do not go to plan like that because especially at the minute with COVID and the pandemic, tradesmen are so booked and everything is just not how it would usually be. You can't organize things the same. And also in your your day-to-day -day life and work life for me, things aren't the same, they're not as organized anyway. So it just makes things a bit more confusing, but I think basically we just need to do 
another couple goes over with the machine with some more sandpaper and get all the varnish off and then hopefully we'll get down to a point where it's just a matter of um evening it all up and we need to hire the edge sander of course for all the edges and then anything the edge sander can't get will have to do with the little mousy guy probably that will be just inside the cupboards where there's a little bit of floor even though i had a bit of a breakdown not a breakdown i was a bit worried i was like oh my gosh this is not gonna work this is our old house part two it's really not it's not as bad they're a bit yellow so um just for comparison this is the color of the beams it's dark so actually it's night time so you really can't tell but they have a gray kind of undertone because i line washed them so we're definitely gonna have to find a varnish that has that gray undertone so that they match but it's a really brilliant base because it's such a blank canvas. Good morning, day two of sanding the floors. Alex went out and got loads more sandpaper and I, <laughs> bless you, I finished doing one layer. So we've made it all the way across, um, one go, and we're just gonna have to go over it all again. And then we'll, <laughs> and then we'll hire the edge sander to do all the edges and hopefully get the majority and anything we don't manage we'll have to go in with our mouse sander but it does look good i hate this thing but we'll get there the floors are officially sanded and alex is going to be returning the yeah. sander we had a bit of teamwork where you would change the sandpaper and yeah. I would sand because I hated it's that like, job and you hated this job. It's like got rid of my fingerprints <gasps> and all the sandpaper. But, but the actually, floors look so good. I quite like the edge. We're keeping the edge. <laughs> you never see it. Well, it's hi. Like they, in, you know, well, like in old pubs. Yeah, they have the paint around the edge. The paint around the edge because they have a big rug or something like in our old house. Just leave it. I actually thought the edges would be worse. I was like in my head really stressing about the edges thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to take so long to do the edges. But knowing that i've just done all of this that's minuscule hopefully um we have to like do inside the covers a little bit but i just don't think it's gonna be it's not gonna matter it's, it's an old floor but doing this has made me realize how beautiful the floor is and maybe i won't want to change the floors one day because it's kind of lovely because it's like much, a real wood floor so much brighter so much brighter not like particularly bright it's quite cloudy outside quite dull but Feels like nice the whole bright. room feels bright you probably can tell on camera this room just in general was just so dark before i think probably just the style of it like maybe when it was decorated back in the 90s or the noughties i don't know maybe the dark wood that was just more fashionable but now it's much brighter it's more fashionable and i prefer that anyway it makes me feel happier um so yeah i'm really really happy we've got that done we actually give it a bit of a brush yes we take it back. i think so but yeah look at the floor they're all smooth good morning it's the next day and we are edge sanding i did get some done yesterday so i've done the edges here but you can see there's a few bits that i haven't quite got um and it doesn't quite make it into all the way into the corners so i think that's going to be a mouse sander um again over here but i have made it all the way around here and so i've got this to do over here, over here, and along that edge. And I'm reaching the point where I can't be bothered. Like yesterday, I was actually like enjoying it, kind of. And now I'm like, I just want this to be over with. Nearly there. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the best I can do around the edges. And then get, maybe Alex, whilst I'm doing that, maybe you could do the mouse sander and we'll give it a go and see how far we get. And fingers crossed, we'll make some progress and be finished and we'll be able to varnish it or wax it. <laughs> Before I sleep Hear the cricket, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Good morning, everyone. I'm smiling because I feel like we've kind of come to a resolution. The last clips, I think, were us 
sanding all the edges and we finished the sanding which is great there's just a kind of a few tiny little bits we need to scrape off um to finish but we ended up with this finished floor which it looks great it looks new it looks lovely but it just looks <laughs> is roxy on the table it just looks a little bit yellow let me show you what i'm talking about ignore the adorable puppy on the table but um as you can see the floors They've come up really, really well. I'm so happy with how they turned out. But they do have a bit of a sort of a pinky, yellowy hue to them. Which to me, the lighting is the worst it could possibly be today to show you this. But to me, it gives off the vibe that these are brand new floors. And I want them to look vintage. We have this table, which obviously loads of you have seen before. This is my childhood table, which our dog is now on. Which thanks for that, Alex. This is going to be cleaned. Um, I'm doing a little project to sort of give it a nice clean before we put it back in because we've got some paint on it by accident um but this table is the most beautiful gray color because it's just been worn and worn and dirty over years and the same thing goes for our beams obviously you watch the whole process of me uh lime washing them or lime waxing them they were sort of orangey and the lime wax just set back the orange and made them go this color not going to work on these floors because these floors are too pale and i put lime wax on them it just makes them go white which i don't want <laughs> So, we've come up with a potential solution. I was talking to my mum and she helped me come to a resolution. She's a genius. And my mum was like, why don't you just put some soot on it? And I was like, you're absolutely mad. Why would I do that? And she said, she's watched loads of um, TV shows and, you know, videos where people are uh, restoring things and trying to make them look old and they'll use all sorts. So tea bags, mud, soot to make it look old again. And I tried it on a piece of scrap wood that we had outside. So I'll show you what it turned out like. So this is the wood. This wood was exactly the same as the wood on our floors. Ignore this part, this is wet. That was in the rain, but ignore that. Let me pop this down. Let's pop it down on the floor. So as you can see, I've put soot on this part of the wood and it's just offset it. So it doesn't have that yellowy pinky tone to it. And it took the tiniest little bit of soot from our fireplace and it's got the vibe i'm after and when i put it on the table it just looks more similar more that kind of style it knocks it back and i think that when it sits next to the slate it's going to match better because right now i just feel like it looks too massively different and i'm not one for perfect lacquered shiny beautiful finished floors i like things to look vintage and old and beaten up <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to do a little test patch in here and we're going to see what we think. And then we're going to put a clear matte varnish on top to seal it all. So we'll see. This is the final step. <laughs> Good morning. It is now Friday. This whole saga has been going on for so long. We're just um, experimenting with different colours. I didn't film this. This is the struggle I have sometimes when I'm on my phone. I instagram it instead so make sure you follow me on instagram because i always share it on instagram and then i forget to vlog but we went to this shop called what was it called again rambart that's it rambart decorators in red ruth and they were so helpful so really recommend if you're decorating your home or doing any diys and you're in cornwall they were very helpful and he just gave us so much advice which i find just invaluable when you're struggling through something that you don't understand we went there to get some osmo oil i think the last time i spoke to you i had discussed putting soot on the floors which is definitely an idea but <laughs> but i posted about it on instagram again and lots of people were like you can get tinted oils why don't you try that first because um maybe it's going to be a bit simpler for you which i agreed with i did look at that beforehand um but i didn't realize they sold any local to us so we thought let's just go along to the shop and have a conversation with them and then when i was there i was a bit like it's probably a better idea more environmentally friendly more healthy for us as well because if we put soot on the floor and then varnish you're putting soot down which is not good to breathe in and then varnish which is essentially plastic so the company didn't have osmo but they had this one which i also saw come up a lot fids um and they do it in different colors we picked out the belgium gray but we also got some different samples in these little sachets which is really helpful and we put it down on the floor and we weren't too keen on the Belgium Grey. I'll put a photo here. I've kind of wiped it off with White Spirit now. I'll put a photo here of the Belgium Grey and the Antique. And we've decided we prefer the Antique because it's essentially the same as the floors are now, just toned down a little bit. 
And I know some of you, some of the people, some people on Instagram have already said they love the floors as they are. I do too, but I just don't think it's right for this room. I feel like it looks too modern, too bright, and I just think it needs to be toned down a little bit. And yes, it might do that over time, but I really like the look of the antique, so I'll show you in a second. So Alex is gonna nip back and go get, replace this one for the antique one, and we're gonna have to get going, and then this whole bloody floor saga can end. Jesse. <gasps> oh my gosh. You have to go, this is like inception of vlogging because this is in another video, me making over this, but Alex has been working this on these hinges. After that video. This video is after this video, so I'll link this one up here, but this is inception because I had to film them both at the same time. Are you just on it? Open it? Yeah, I need to do it properly, but I need to make sure they actually shut without, because they do that, but I just need to right, fix yeah. that. I haven't, yeah. I haven't fitted that properly yet. Well done. Sometimes it's frustrating doing DIY, but then you gain a new skill. Now you know how to hang a door. Not really. Down here is where I did the two colours. That was where the grey was, but I've just wiped it and cleaned it with white spirit, so it now just looks wet. This is the antique, and this is the original. Maybe some of you prefer this. Um, and I do like this. I actually do really like the way the floors look. Um, but they just look new, and I don't want them to be new. Um, I'm never going to match the beams. That's just never gonna happen. I've tried so many different ways of thinking of it and I just don't think it's ever gonna be that way because they are old, old, old pine. So it's a different type of wood. Um, so I think that this one is a pretty good option and it does look, it looks a bit more orange on camera. Um, it's not gonna be orange in real life, I don't think. I hope not. Um, the idea is that it's gonna have a bit of a brown undertone to the floors so it just knocks it back a bit. Roxy has found a bed on my Udi. No, don't sit next to the sores <laughs> and all the chemicals. There we go. I am losing track of what it is that I've vlogged but we have the antique oil here. I am slightly nervous, I'm not gonna lie, partly because some of you on Instagram don't have a filter and you tell me I'm doing the wrong thing which makes me nervous and partly because it's so dark in this tin. just It's just like when you spend so much time doing something with DIY, it's just, it can go wrong and then you have to then start again. Like if I put this on and it's not right, I, I don't know. I need to do a test plank, but I'm trying to decide where. I think I'm gonna do another sort of, well the thing is you need to keep going when you're using it because you don't want too many lines. So I'm trying to figure out where is best and then I'll come back to you. <gasps> I'm so scared. That's quite a lot darker. It's very dark. Hello, I realized I didn't finish this video because I'm filming so many different videos all at once to share the kitchen makeover that I didn't even finish this one. We put the oil on, we used two coats. Given it's actually not the color I wanted originally in my mind and it's um, quite a warm color. However, I am actually really happy with it because Alex pointed out, it really reminds me of our floors in our old house, and I'll put a photo here. And it just looks like beautifully nourished antique pine, and whatever I would have done to it to make it antique pine, like the beams, which are actually antique pine, it would have looked artificial. I tried lime wax on a little test patch, and it just looked like there was a bit of gray paint on top. And um, yeah, like we said, the other oil, the Dutch gray, just didn't look good, so, Belgium. huh? Belgium oh. grey. Um, so we're both really happy. It took me a minute to adjust, but it just looks like a beautiful original floor, hardwood floor, and um, using oil, in my mind, is just so much better because it's nourishing the wood rather than covering it in a layer of plastic, which is essentially what varnish is. 
and it means we can upkeep the floors and hopefully over time because it's just got oil on it they will wear and they will get darker and they'll look more and more vintage over time and Roxy has given it the official seal of approval. <laughs> it colour matched it to her. Yeah, it's Roxy coloured, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I just think it looks gorgeous. Um, this was probably the colour I had in my head that we we're going to go for, kind of like the beans, but I just, I still think it looks great. And um, when we end up decorating and putting everything in here, my mum was like, Maddie, it's not what you had planned, but put all the furniture in and then if you hate it, you can try and do something with it. But she said it looks beautiful and I think it looks good. So yeah, also the lighting right now is actually making it look far more orange on camera than it actually is. Let me try and get you a reality. No, this looks so much more orange on camera. It's so funny. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Go watch my dresser makeover and stay tuned for the full makeover when we've moved everything in. We're about to put the rug down. <gasps> <laughs> but yeah, see you later. Bye. And don't copy me because I don't do things properly. But yeah, I'm quite impressed. I feel like if we got a professional to do that, I would have been quite happy. Apart from um, these little marks here, not impressed with those, but oh well. <laughs> oh well.